Hey guys, it's Hannah Keeley here. Welcome to the Crazy Blessed Show, where we dig into God's Word and find out everything we need to know to live a life that is blessed like crazy. So let's go ahead and make a commitment right now. Okay, let's go ahead. Say it with me. I commit my life is going to be changed. Ready for this? I'm going to lean in, I'm going to listen, and I'm going to leverage what I get today to create a better life tomorrow. In my faith, in my family, in my finances, in my fortress, in my fitness for my freedom, I'm going to take it, I'm going to use it, and I'm going to create a life that is blessed like crazy. Because that's what we're doing here today. And it affects every area of our lives. You notice I did not shy away from our finances or our fitness, health and wealth. This is one area where a lot of believers get a little confused, frustrated, angry, or like me, super excited. <laughs> okay, Because I'm going to be talking about that today. I'm going to be talking about health and wealth, two areas where a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of believers, a lot of faith-filled people don't like to go. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be one of those episodes of the Crazy Bless Show that can step on toes. So you know what you wear to the Crazy Bless Show. You always have to wear big kid pants and steel toe boots, right? Big kid pants, steel toe boots. If you don't have them, don't come because that is a requirement because I'm telling you today, I'm giving you a warning. This is not for those people who are fragile in your faith. So if you're fragile, then go ahead and get off of the Crazy Blessed Show. Go ahead and, and get out of this room and find another Bible study or another podcast or another show that makes you feel righteous about tolerating a substandard life. Go ahead and do that. You have total permission. I encourage it. But if you're that person who's like, nope, I want to hear it straight from God's word. I want to hear it unadulterated. I want to hear God's truth that will have a, an effect on my life right here in this land of the living. We are to eat fruit here in the land of the living. Show up with all of the blessings here on earth, not just when we get to heaven in the sweet by and by. Our lives are supposed to be significantly changed here on earth so that we are living that crazy blessed life that other people are like, I don't get it. How do things just work out for you? How, how do you have these advantages? Like, no, no, no. My advantage is Jesus. So when you know this, you can access it. But if you don't know it, you can't. So this is what my job is. I feel like God has given me that job. Of, and he told me that, the Holy Spirit told me specifically to break the curse of poverty over believers because the enemy has distorted everything that we believe about health and wealth. I don't shy away from it. I boldly go into it because God's word has significantly changed my health and wealth. Like I remember when I was, I was, I was going to church, I was going to Wednesday night service, I was, I was in a Bible study, I was you know, read my devotion every morning and I still was sick as a dog. Like I was um, depressed. I had anxiety. Uh, I always had allergies, like constantly. Like if you would look like by my bed or under my bed, there's always these tissue wads because my nose was always stopped up. I had allergies, horrible asthma. Um, I didn't have energy and money. Oh my gosh, I was broke, like not even broke, like so in debt. I had no idea how I'd ever, ever, if I lived to be 150, pay it off. Um, out of my diligence in going straight to the Word to find out what God says about my health and about my wealth, my body has changed, my energy level has changed, my health has changed, and I used to be broke. Now I, I'm not just like out of debt, but I've developed multi-million dollar businesses. So it's like, okay, definitely the Word has a powerful effect. So if you want it, cool. That's what we're going to talk about. If you don't, then just um, leave the show. You have total permission to do that. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to watch this. You don't have, you don't have to read the Bible. You don't have to access this. I know people who will fight tooth and nail to stay sick and broke. If that's you, 
awesome. Um, good luck with that because you probably need luck because uh, you're not accessing favor. So if you're bold enough to hold hands with me, walk with me, and let's go into God's word and see what he says about it, then who knows? Something incredible could be waiting for you on the other side of that. So I'm going to talk about um, health and wealth. I'm going to talk about Jesus being our all access pass. And I want you to, I want you to say that, like right in the chat, give me a comment, say all access pass. Say it out loud right now, all access pass. If you're driving, then you better not be commenting. Don't do that. You need to have your eyes on the road. You need to have your hands on the wheel, but you can say it out loud. Jesus is my all access pass. And I'm going to show you about Jesus being the lamb of God who was sacrificed for everything to come into your life, all things, all blessing, crazy blessing. So I'm going to talk about that, about how salvation without restoration is incomplete. So if there is restoration that you need in your life, I want you to say out loud, yes, I want re restoration. Like, let's just be so clear with that. I want restoration, whether it's, you know what, this, this horrible relationship I was in, ate up all the, like this many years of my life. I gave this many years of my life to that person and they just like threw it away. No, no, no. Restoration's coming your way. All those years are coming back to you with interest because the enemy has to pay. What if it was like you lost money? Oh man, I put all my money in this business. It failed. Okay. I want restoration. All that money plus interest back into my life. What if you spent what if you didn't even get a childhood? I want you to think about that because there's a lot of people who have had trauma in their childhood and they feel like they were robbed of that beautiful childhood experience. Like their innocence was taken from them. Their, um, just the, their perspective on the world as a safe place to be was stolen from them. Right now, I want you to say, it's coming back to me. Safety, purity, it's all coming back to me. I call it in with interest because the enemy has to pay. There are a lot of things that we are struggling with in life that we don't have to struggle with, but we think that it's just become such a part of our life that it's inevitable. We just have to learn to tolerate it. I'm saying to you right now, the days of tolerating it is over for you. You don't have to tolerate this anymore. We're not called to tolerate a substandard life. We are called to create an abundant life. And if that's what you want to do, restoration is available for you because salvation, you can become saved. You can ask Jesus into your heart, say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I want to live for you. Take my life, do something with it. And yes, you will go to heaven after you die. But if your life isn't changed here on earth, you're missing out on so much because Jesus is your all access pass, not just to get to heaven, but to live heaven here on earth. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you patterns where God has done that throughout the ages and he's ready to do that in your life today. And I believe that's why you're hearing my voice right now. I believe that that's why you're watching this. I believe that's why a friend sent this to you because it's time for you to get what's coming to you. All the restoration is coming to you. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. We're going to dig into God's word and get everything that's coming to us. You know, the other day I was flying out of uh, New York. And we got there super early because my husband was in charge of the schedule and my husband to be on time at the gate means that you're there two hours early. I don't know if you're like that or not. I'm not so much like that, but he is. So he was in charge. So we got there so early. So I just um, took him, my daughter, she was with us and we went into the Delta Sky Club. So I don't know if you're like, let me know if that's, you know, if you love to fly, if that's, if you love to travel, if you're familiar with that, but for people who carry um, the platinum card, uh, you can, or you fly, fly first class, you can like go into Delta Sky Club. So I went in there and it was the first time my daughter had ever been into Delta Sky Club. I travel a lot, so I hang out there frequently, but walked in and I was like, okay, all right, baby girl, like you can get anything from the hot bar over here. Here's all the other things to eat. There's some lattes there. There's some sparkling water. Here's some hot tea. And, and she looked at me, she's like, 
I'm kind of digging this Sky Club. <laughs> and I said, of course, of course, because it was our, our all access pass. We walked through those doors, those doors that slid open and it gave you access into the Sky Club. And then inside there, you can do whatever you want. You can charge up your computer. They have little pods where you can do some work and have some privacy and all the things you want to eat or drink, everything there for you. So I was thinking about that and I was thinking about how many times in life we as believers walk right past the Sky Club, right? This club that God allows us into here on earth where we have all the advantages, we have all the blessing, and it is, I want you to hear this word, unlimited. If God can do it for me, he can do it for you. His blessings are unlimited. And when we have access, to, well, when we know we have access to that, if we don't, we'll just walk by it all day long, tolerating our life. Yep, I, I almost made enough money to get to the end of the month, but not quite. Got a stack of bills. Yeah, I've been dealing with this arthritis for years now, or this, you know, this sickness has been on me, or I, I'm, you know, it's flu season. I guess I'm going to get it. Like, I can't even, like, hardly say those words because I know the power of words, but people live that way. Yeah, I'm just here to tolerate my life. Hopefully, I can gratify some of my sensual pleasure on the way, but I'm just here to get to the end of the day, to get to the end of my life. And I don't want you to go to heaven and see everything that was available to you if you just operated in faith and went like, if I had just known, if I had just tuned in to the crazy blood show and known everything that was available to me, maybe I could have lived a different life here on earth. Maybe I could have created a different future for my children, for my grandchildren, for my great grandchildren. Maybe my marriage would have been different. Maybe I would have changed lives because of that ministry or that business I was supposed to start or that book I was supposed to write or that song I was supposed to compose. Like all the things. And we just continue to go through life and look at that, look at that sky club and say, man, I wish I could get in there. You can. You have access through Jesus, through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to get into this sky club anytime you want. But it's going to take boldness to operate in the word and not operate with your indoctrinated belief system. Because I'm going to tell you what I'm sharing today, and it probably already has riled up something in you. You know, you're like, mm, I don't know about that, Hannah. Sounds like that's prosperity gospel. Well, I don't think Jesus ever preached the poverty gospel, but I don't want that. I want to prosper here in this life. Jesus had no, no hesitation with healing, with finances, talking about money. He had no hesitation. So guess what? I'm not going to have any hesitation either because I want the results that I've proven in my life by digging into his word to be available for you too. So I will take the heat. A lot of people won't. We shy away from it. We stay with concepts that we can interpret in any way we want. What is joy? What is abundance? What is freedom? What is happiness? What is completion? No. What if we get into the number in your checking account? What if we get into that number on the scale? What if we deal with things that are so objective that we cannot move away from either God's way works or it doesn't? We have to make some hard decisions. So this show could cause you to be a little frustrated, but that's all right. Is it worth it to just dig in and find out? Is something available for you? So I want to show you what happened. This is, this is so cool because in Psalm 37, 4, sometimes we place the desires like we all want stuff. If you want stuff, let me know. Like that doesn't mean you're covetous. That doesn't mean you're greedy. But if you want stuff, say, yeah, I want stuff. Do you want to be healthy? Do you want to have a great relationship with your kids? Do you want to have a, like an like a awesome, sexy marriage where you're like having fun together? You're the best of friends. Do you want that? I think sometimes... Christians interpret our desire as greed, and we put this label on it, do not touch. But I'm going to tell you right now, in Psalm 37, 4, it says, God will give you the desires of your heart. If you're unwilling to be, to be like real with those desires, to actually face them, to give them life, to say, yeah, I want this. I remember my husband and I were talking the other day about how I've always been driven 
to create um, a, a faith-filled business. Like, I would invest in myself when we didn't have any money to invest in myself. I would go to conferences and learn when I, did, when I didn't even have enough money to buy a plane ticket, like, let alone eat. I would, like, pack, you know, homemade bags of, of granola and oatmeal just so I would have something to eat. Like, like, for years, I would do this. And he said, where did you get that drive? Like, to always be investing in yourself and moving forward and, and building what, what you built today. And I said, honestly, I was just sick of being broke. <laughs> I don't know if you're sick of being broke or if you're sick of being sick or if you're sick of being stressed out, if you're sick of being anxious, if you're sick of being depressed, if you're sick of fighting all the time, let me know. And just be honest with yourself. Can we just be honest? Because God already knows what's in your heart. We try to keep it from us. We don't want to look at it. But let's just open up our heart and look at those desires of our heart. And let's dive into that. Because until you're honest with your desires, you cannot reach them. You cannot fulfill them. So let's just look and take an honest look at our desires and say, you know what? I desire a long and healthy life. I desire... A, a unified family. Like, be honest. I desire to be healthier. I desire more money in my account. It's okay. Because God has given you those desires. Now, they can be perverted and distorted, or they can be lifted up and devoted to God, and we plug into the Word to find out how we do this, and the results glorify Him as well. So, let's just stop rejecting our desires and label it as greed, and let's be honest with it. Let's be honest. So Satan, I want you to know this one thing and we're going to, uh, we're about to wrap up and I'm going to move into part two, but I need you to understand this. Satan cannot block you from your abundance. I want you to think about that for a minute. Like he does not have that power. He can't block you from the wealth. He can't block you from, from the vibrant energy, the healthy life. He can't block you from a great marriage or from having an amazing family. He can't block you from having success in your ministry and your career and your business. Whatever you put your hand to will prosper. That's what Deuteronomy says. That's what Psalm says. So Satan knows, listen to me now, Satan knows he cannot block you from God's blessing. So what he does is he puts a mental block inside you so you reject it. Now, I want you to get that. Satan cannot block you from your blessing, but he can put a mental block inside your head so you reject it. Now, if you feel like maybe I've been there, maybe I, I want to know a little more about this. Hannah, I, you know what? I'm just going to dig in. I'm going to take all of these preconceived notions and all of this, like, trying to, like, find fault. I'm just going to put this on the shelf and be open to what the word says about my money, about my body, about all the blessings that Jesus died for me to have because I believe Jesus is my all access pass. Now this is just part one. You're gonna definitely wanna to listen to the other parts of Jesus is your all access pass to find out how to get this, how to get God's favor working for you in your life so that you can demonstrate the glory and the crazy blessing of God. And when you do that, when you dig in, you are going to be blessed like crazy.